Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Jackie Williams, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the beautiful Waves of Ocean collection. The Waves of the Ocean collection does include, of course, a stamp set, and it also has a coordinating die bundle, which you can see works with some of the images, but also has some images that die cut and stand by themselves, which I'll show you later in the samples. Now, these are available to order right now, but they will also be in the next annual catalog, which starts 3rd of May, 2022. So you do have time to purchase that. Then we also have the beautiful Waves of the Ocean designer series paper, just scoot that over. And you can see that these are absolutely gorgeous and were created by an artist who did some oil pouring and uh, looks very much like ocean waves. And those do come in a 12 by 12 size. And then we've also got the foils and I just use small pieces of the foil because they're a little bit obnoxious on videos in my opinion, but they do come as 12 by 12 sheets and you get two of each color. And we've also got the gorgeous Wave Basic Rhinestone Jewels. Now the designer series paper, the foils and the jewels are only available during, eight, well, through 2nd of May, 2022 or while stocks last. The first thing I wanna showcase is actually the very beautiful wave stamp. Now I know it's a little bit off camera, but I do have it mounted up here on my Stamparatus. And I'm going to ink that up with uh, Coastal Cabana first. And then stamp that down onto my white cardstock. And you can see the detail is absolutely beautiful. It is a distinctive stamp. I'm just gonna stamp it again to get it a little bit darker. With this image, it's absolutely beautiful, just stamped like that. I'm just gonna add a second color, or you could even do a third and fourth color in there. I'm just gonna use a sponge dauber, or you could use a blending brush. And for this sample, I'm gonna use Pacific Point. Now I did find that if you dab it, then you'll end up with circles of color. So it's actually better if you just kind of spread it a little bit like this, but not too much. Cause you don't want to cover your Coastal Cabana completely. We just want to add a little bit more detail of color in there. So isn't that gorgeous? The stamp itself is already gorgeous, but just adding that little hint of another color just adds that next level. And this is my finished sample with stamping it with two colors like that. And for this sample, I used Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green. And I believe I also just put a little hint of Bermuda Bay there across the top. So it's just a nice, simple card, but really showcases that beautiful stamp. Now, another way that you can use this wave stamp is by emboss resist. So I have stamped this with Versamark. I have put white embossing powder over and heated it in preparation. And for this sample, we'll use Bermuda Bay and Granny Apple Green, and I'm gonna use my blending brushes. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the color, and I always like to dab that first bit off and then just lightly blend some color over my embossing. Now you'll notice when you do this technique that the lighter the color that you put on, the more subtle your white. The darker or more intense of color you put on, the more the white actually comes out. Now you will need to take a tissue and rub that, the ink off of the white embossing. You see how that white now pops? and some of the ink has come off that was sitting on top of the white embossing. Now I'll just add a little bit of the Granny Apple Green. And there we go, it's absolutely stunning. And you can try this in a mix of different blues and greens and turquoises for a different effect every time. Now here is a finished sample using that technique. And I did put a little bit of Wink of Stella in there in case you can see some of the sparkle there. And this time I just put a little piece of the designer series paper behind. And this time, instead of stamping the words straight onto the card, I put them up on a label and just a little piece of that denim ribbon running through. And here is another sample with that technique. And this layout was inspired by Amy Coenders. 
and I did change it up a little, but uh, started with hers as my inspiration. And I used that stripes folder here at the bottom and, and then rolled up the edge of my designer ser series paper behind. And then I also cut off the little um, edge to that label to create more of a masculine look. I also wanted to create something a little bit different. This one's more of a turquoise look and I wanted something a little more dark and moody just to show you the possibilities with this one. Then here's just another sample that I made. This one, of course, is using black and white. I thought um, we don't have to stick with the colors that are introduced in the designer series papers. You can use any colors that you wish. And I really like always the black and white look. So obviously just white emboss the wave onto black cardstock. And then just use a little bit of that turquoise foil in through that label and a few of the turquoise rhinestones to match. Now for our next technique, I wanna showcase a little technique that I've seen a few times on the net. And someone also explained it to me verbally, but I can't remember who at the moment. So what you do is you'd stamp your image right here in the middle and isn't it amazing and just stunning how detailed this uh, little pelican on the wood stamp is. And then what I'm gonna do is just take one of my dies or any shape or template that you wanna use and then just take my pen and just draw some lines. And don't worry if there's some breaks or anything, you're just gonna kinda get that rough rectangle shape. And then this is a little bit scary because we're stampers and most of us aren't that good at drawing. I'm actually terrible at drawing. And then just take your pen and just doodle some lines. But quite honestly, guys, if I can do this, you can totally do this. I am the worst artist out there. So you don't have to use a rectangle. You can use a square or a heart or a circle or just whatever shape you wanna use. And this is the finished sample. And this was inspired by Mary Dethrich, her sample that she's posted on Pinterest. I just changed it up a little bit, but um, it's inspired by hers. And I love how you've just, we've just got some simple linen thread behind, and then you can just tuck some ribbon through just for a pop of color, or you could keep it all neutral. And it's just a nice way to showcase that one stamp and have a little bit of doodling around the outside. Now this next sample is showcasing more the wave dies and you do get two wave dies in the die set. And this is a sample actually that is on the Stampin' Up! flyer, but I really liked it so much. I wanted to actually make one. What I loved about this one is that we're actually stamping directly onto the designer series paper. And it's a great use of this one that kind of to me looks like fire and just stamp the words over and over again, inking, uh, you know, like stamping three times after inking so you get the various shades of the words. And, and then layering the wave die onto the designer series paper and then just um, some layers of the designer series paper here at the bottom. I thought it was a very nice design. And then this sample is inspired by Chelsea Christensen. I changed it up just a little, but I liked her layout of using the paper in the background and then having the two waves uh, over top using both the turquoise and the dark blue foils. Those foils are just stunning when die cut with uh, the wave dies. And then I've just torn some little strips of the designer series paper in the various dark blue and the coral and the granny apple green down here at the bottom and just added a little label and then stamped some little birds. Now this sample was inspired by Melody Viljoen, and I'm sure that's not how you say her last name, but I really liked this idea of just taking strips of the paper and um, stacking them up to create kind of a, a multicolored background. It's also a really great way to use your strips of paper because we most of us end up with these little thin strips of paper after we've made our projects. And then just put that great pelican on the front and this time use the clouds. And I added the little details. So each cloud is two dies and you have the option of adding that little dimensional detail over top. 
And then my last sample is inspired by Tammy White, but I did simplify her uh, card. So this one is a window card and it opens up like this. So that first layer's got the wave and the words. And then you've got that pelican silhouette and the clouds and then inside that wonderful stamp and some more words. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that inspires you to start creating with your Waves of the Ocean collection. Please leave me a comment and share this video. And of course, I always appreciate it when you subscribe. This is Jackie Williams and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,